aerial view of downtown Jacksonville, Florida, the St. John's River. As we pan over to Alltel Stadium, where the Toyota Gator Bowl is about to unfold, matching Maryland and West Virginia. West Virginia won the toss. They deferred to the second half, so Maryland will get the ball first. Brad Cooper set to kick off for the Mountaineers. And deep, Steve Suter for the Terrapins, the dangerous one. Cooper's kick into the end zone. Suter will bring it out from halfway in the end zone. Tripped up shy of the 20-yard line. There's Scott McBrien, the senior quarterback. 220 yards passing in the September 20th blowout win against the Mountaineers. Yeah. Easy wins for Maryland both meetings last year and this season. Yeah, they scored the first 34 points in that game. Finished up 34-7. You see the yeah. offensive line. That's a good one. Veteran units. Yep. Very good offensive line. Keep your eye on Bruce Perry. Beset by injuries, but he is averaging over five yards a carry this season and is a terrific running back when he's healthy. They're in the eye formation. Perry is the tailback. Here's the gift to him. Dancing forward. And he gets about four yards on first down. Beginning the games, Adam Pacman Jones made that stop from the secondary up front. Hunter Lynch and Hardy with Yurko, Wiley, Lenort and Lorello. Wiley is the man to watch the All-American linebacker. King, Washington, Jones who made that tackle, and Frazier. McBrien again to Perry. And Bruce Perry tackled after another short gain as a little skirmish breaks out. If you have a really good offensive line, and the Terrapins indeed do. McBrien from the shotgun with a pitch, and Perry will have the first down. Bruce Perry. Perry had that 237-yard rushing game against Wake Forest earlier this year. McBrien's first pass on target to Suter for a big first down gain. First down play. Maryland on the opening drive of the game. Give to Perry. Dancing in the scrimmage. Breaking free into the outside. And Perry has another big game. And making it second and one. Really damage. <laughs> Stopped short that time. So it sets up a third and one. Perry behind the fullback, Fiddler. Power formation. Yes. Yeah, West Virginia player jumps. Was it? Good ball foul. Offside. Get the defense. The play made contact in the neutral zone. <laughs> From the shotgun on first down. Play action fake. McBrien puts it left handed. He's got his man inside the 10 yard line. JoJo Walker. And then they throw the ball downfield. Gain of 29. First and goal. Bruce Perry. Tripped up at the line of scrimmage. And Ben Lynch on the other side has been great every game for West Virginia. Right inside there. And they've scored all but twice inside the red zone, as you saw. Option play. McBrien still has it. And tackled for a loss back to the 10-yard line. West Virginia ready to point out something as they get the blocking assignments. Formation correctly. Send the man in motion and takes the snap. McBrien looking to the end zone. And will throw it out of the end zone, way over the head of his intended receiver. Their kicker, Nick Novak. John Kondo, the snapper. And the holder is Adam Podlesh, the putter. Novak's had a terrific career kicking. 62 career field goals. And you can make it 63. As Novak, the all-time leading scorer and Maryland, all-ACC performer, makes his 23rd field goal of this campaign. Yeah. And Novak's kick. It'll be Pac-Man into the end zone and out with it. And slipped and fell at about the 15-yard line. And a look at uh, Rashid Marshall, who had uh, not a very effective game in that loss to Maryland in September. Nice young man. Be behind Watson, Moses, Hines, Burke, and Justice. It's been scrambled around a bit during the season, much more effective than earlier. And keep your eye on number three, Quincy Wilson, over 1,300 yards rushing this season. And there is Wilson with his first carry. Maryland defense, which ranks 12th in college football in scoring defense, allowing just 16 points a game. Eli Feldheim and Starks. Starks, an all-ACC performer. Cochran, Jackson, Joe, and Ambush. You gotta love that name for a linebacker. And every member of this secondary made one of the all-ACC teams. Very tough secondary. Marshall's first pass is complete, short of the first down. So third down and a yard for West Virginia. 
to Wilson. Marshall still with the ball. Fires it incomplete. Turns for touchdowns in his career. And he boots it on its way. Low. Didn't see it, but good bounce. And Suter picks it up on the bounce. Shakes one tackler, but not the second. And driven down. And he said no hard feelings. He just wanted the opportunity to play. And Coach Rich Rodriguez of West Virginia said we didn't want him to leave. Play action fake. McBrien still has it. The lefty rolling to his right. Unable to pass. Keeps it and dives forward. Fake to Perry. No, give it to Bruce Perry. Kept his balance and is close to the first down. Right. Third down in a yard. Just short of a yard. And McBrien sneaks. And apparently has enough faith. And they both have played exceptionally well, I think, this season. By action fake, McBride under pressure. And he's gotten it away just off the hands of his tight end. We've seen Derek Fenner in the, the Maryland lineup, who had an appendectomy. They weren't sure whether he would be able to suit it up for the game of all, but he is obviously in fine shape. Not much there on the running plays. They, from the shotgun on third and long. Steps into the pocket, but overthrows his intended receiver incomplete. Spanish River High School. Low snap to Podlesh, but he gets it underway toward Frazier. Frazier runs into his own man and is decked Frank at King. the 18-yard line. 5.35 left in the opening quarter. 3-0 Maryland. The numbers on Marshall this season. From his own 17. And shooting the ball downfield and way over the head again of his receiver. That was Aaron Neal. And uh, had a year under his belt. Things going pretty well on a second down give here to Quincy Woodson. A fumble the football. And recovered by Maryland. Sean Merriman is the man that picked up the fumble from actually K.J. Harris. 32-yard line of West Virginia. McBride on first down. Hands to Perry. And stopped second and five for the Terrapins. Perry, the lone setback. Handed to him. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Still managed to churn out to the 25-yard line. Put the ball on the ground, but the Terrapins got it back. Four minutes to go. First quarter. This is a third and four. Option. Toss on the ground. Still loose. Flag is down, and Perry recovered. Terrific the illegal years. crackback block against the offense. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. For 51 yards, as long as the season, 54. <laughs> On its way, and it is... No good. Wide right. So the West Virginia turnover does not cost the Mountaineers any points as Henry, their talented receiver, making his first appearance in the Mountaineer lineup. He is absolutely a difference maker. Hand off on first down to Quincy Wilson as Marshall backs away from center and changes the play. Again to Wilson. Tries to cut back. Wrapped up by Jackson again. And the athletic director came in and says there will be an announcement today detrimental to your program. <laughs> so, well, I guess so. Salem dropped football as another fumble by West Virginia and recovered by Maryland. I'm going to get that story yeah, I, in yet. I, I don't think you're going to finish it. I think uh, Rasheed Marshall, part of that hit as well. The strong safety, Denard uh, Wilson. Yeah, it was yeah, number Williams, Williams. Got the uh, shoulder pad right to the helmet. Here's Josh Allen in the backfield for the first time. He averages over five yards a carry, as does Perry. And here is Allen with his first tote of the day. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten after no gain by Allen on first down. Well, did the center... We have a dead ball foul offside against the defense. The player made contact in the neutral zone. Five-yard penalty, still second down. That's, you know, I'm not going to catch balls. I'm not going to throw them. But we have a good rushing day. I know we played well. Blitz comes. Picked up. Pass to Suter completely as a first down. Down the sideline, close to the 35-yard line. From the 37, first down for the Terrapins. Inside the final minute of the first quarter. Pump fake for McBrien. Now going to the end zone, but nobody on that one. Way off 
the mark in Damascus, Maryland. Not too many can uh, move from corner to safety, be effective. He has been. Harris, or Parson, on the reception. McBrien from the gun. West Virginia shows blitz. Picked up by Maryland, and McBrien has his man. Caught by Williams, and Jafar Williams, touchdown. Picks it up and through. So the turnover, West Virginia fumbles, Maryland recovers, and Maryland that time taking advantage of the turnover to add to their lead. The senior from Philadelphia, Jafar Williams with a touchdown at the end of one quarter, 10-0 Maryland. And Novak with a kickoff. Hackman Jones takes it deep in the end zone. And, and then ultimately, uh, the head coach here and really has this program very much on the rise. Two very good seasons back to back for Rich Rodriguez. Two coaches coaching after Alma Mater squaring off today. Diving attempt made, but incomplete. It was three and out, and then two fumbles. Well, you told that story. <laughs> Hand off to Harris. It was in from the sideline, and they run the no huddle. Marshall being chased and hit hard, driven out of bounds at the 25-yard line. And yeah, that's what they're hopeful of today. James Punt towards Suter, who backpedals to take it at about the 23-yard line. Steve Suter gets to the outside, uses his blockers well. Now a convoy for Suter down the sideline. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. His second this year. Point from Novak. And dead center. On the sideline, Suter, the junior from Manchester, Maryland, accepting congratulations after this 76-yard punt return. Zigzagging in and out, bit down the sideline, picking up his blockers and waltzing into the end zone to make it seven. Mountaineers looking for a big play to get them started. This will be Pac-Man. A nice return. 28-yard line. See why. Yeah. First down play for the Mountaineers. Needing to get untracked. Quincy Wilson. And he turned the corner. Gets five yards on first down. Driven out of bounds. It's done that ever since high school. Nothing in the middle. So Wilson bounces to the outside. Picks up. The initial first down for the Mountaineers. He is close to midfield, stopped at about the 47. Three wide receiver formation, empty backfield. Marshall with a quarterback draw. Maryland not fooled, loss of a couple. KJ Harris in a tailback with four wide receivers. Marshall's under center. Harris with a cutback. KJ Harris, nice run. Crosses midfield down to the Maryland 44. Fofana is in, in front of Harris in the backfield. Third and two. Harris trying to use a Fofana block, hit behind the line, and unable to make the first down. There's the audible as he looks to the sideline. He may punt it. He's done this earlier in the year. He backed up, you saw, uh -huh. a little deeper, and does, for a little pooch punt. For West Virginia bounce momentarily. We'll be down to the 19-yard line. So they're all ready to play. They're tired of practicing, ready to get on the field. That's why they're so intense. Play action fake. McBrien, first down pass. Is that good? Sparkling catch if it is by Williams. And Brian King had a hit on him at the one-yard line, but he reaches over to get it across the plane of the goal line for the touchdown and then makes a stretched out catch there. McBrien, another play action fake. His pass to a wide open receiver. And shaking people is uh, Davis, and Davis trying to reverse his field again. <laughs> Still on his feet. Oh, Outside man. Inside the 40-yard line of West Virginia. You know, he's a true freshman. 28 yards on that one as Maryland continues to do a big chunk of yardage. Here's Perry. His cutback gets him to the 35-yard line. Perhaps Scott hopes he can follow uh, Boomer's example to make it to the NFL. Oh, no! Keep 
works here and then pitches back. It's Parson. Earlier it was a little frustrating for him because McBride practiced better than any quarterback he had ever had. Didn't always translate to performance in the game, and now it has here late in his senior season. He hopes to make it in the NFL. So he knew he wouldn't be drafted. Uh, and a pretty doggone good one. Second down and eight. McBride's pass on the slant is complete. Caught by Williams. Fumble. I think McBride recovered it. Ball at the West Virginia 22. The Mountaineers can't afford to surrender any more points. From the gun, McBride pumps once, twice, has a man wide open. Catch made by Williams. Another touchdown. Wow. That's, that's an old two easy. The great, great protection for Scott McBride. Seven seconds to get that ball off just in the right angle to get in between the two players 22 yard touchdown extra point good by Novak and the route is on in the Toyota Gator Bowl with 749 to go till halftime the Terrapins socking it to the Mountaineers Williams with his second touchdown of the first half and the Terrapins increase their lead McBrien with a, another touchdown heave and Maryland goes up 24-zip. Novak will kick it to Jones or Wright. And they'll bring it out of the end zone. This is Wright. The first five drives for the Mountaineers. The longest has been only five plays. From the shotgun, a hand to Harris. Harris trying to turn the corner. Let's churn out a couple of yards, you know, Coach Rodriguez. Originally, he said he was going to have to sit out the whole game and reinstated him for the second half. Wilson on the swing pass, thrown for a big loss by the Terrapin defense. Marshall from the gun, third down and 15. Just a two-man rush. And a quarterback draw. Marshall. Let's get it out across the 30-yard line. It's going to be short of the first down by a couple of yards. And he calls a rugby kick. There it is. It's a rugby-style punt of his. Line drive taken by Suter. Dodges one, two, three, four, and then ducks out of bounds just to taunt them a little bit. On brave old Army team, how important Army football has been uh, in the history of our country, really. Three Heisman Trophy winners, I think 71 All-Americans. And several of our prominent military leaders got their uh, West Virginia and Maryland. The two submarines are here in honor of the Gator Bowl game as we hand to Bruce Perry. Perry turning the corner, stopped just short of the first down as he's driven out of bounds. It's a great surprise for them for New Year's Day. Well, so the alternate crew is the one here. The sub, the boat is not actually here. And it's a boat, not a ship. <laughs> Perry, carrying tacklers with him, pounds out a first down. Only one first down for the Mountaineers to 12 for the Terps. Well, the action fake and McBrien follows Perry. I don't know if that was intended or not. In his junior season. McBrien just beats it downfield, incomplete. A little bumping going on. And line the official standing in front of it. Gets his head turned. I don't think that's it. That is incidental. Had his head turned. I don't believe that should be pass interference on Frazier. We have pass interference against the defense. The penalty is 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Fourth penalty, 30 yards against West Virginia. Maryland has not been whistled for a penalty. JoJo Walker on the... You know, these programs, both of them on the rise, and they're going to play, I think, in a lot of January first bowl. Melendez with a catch. Dodging tacklers, close to the first down. And West Virginia in the Big East, that, that watching the Terrapins play. His alma mater. You know, he met his, his bride there as a graduate as a student. One of his children are about to go there. Screen pass, complete. And another big gainer for the Maryland offense. Inside the 15, down to the 13-yard line. Approaching the two-minute mark in the first half. The first half dominated on both sides of the football by the Terrapins. McBride. Lost the football. It's live. It's a live ball, I think. Pick it up. Then they're going to 
And the flag down. The legal backs. forward pass, intentional grounding against the offense. The penalty is loss of down at the start of the foul. It was a pass, illegal as it was. It was not a live football. Correct call made there. And Bryant, bullet, almost intercepted. Should have been intercepted by Pac-Man Jones. Against Kellen Winslow. And all game long, Winslow kept saying, do you know my name? Do you know my name? And Pac-Man kept quiet until in the end zone, he was able to intercept one and got up and said... So on fourth down, a field goal attempt from Novak. Yeah, they need a block. West Virginia needs a block. Some, something positive before halftime. 35-yard attempt. Novak puts it up, and he missed it. Yeah, that's positive. For West Virginia, six possessions, four punts, and two fumbles. We've got a minute in the first half to try to get something positive. And still number five, Chris Henry has not had a ball thrown to the University of Maryland and a walk on the football team. Only the second first down of the first half. See what he's done the last seven games. That's when they won those games. Approaching the 22nd mark as Marshall hangs it up down the sideline. It was intercepted by Williams, but out of bounds or longer. We have pass interference against the defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Four wide receivers lined up in tandem to either side. Low snap picked up by Marshall. Hit as he throws, and it's caught on the deflection. Get down. Down to the 23-yard line is Chris Henry. And, the clock and then Henry shoving a Maryland player. And a... Clock starts. And spikes. Three seconds remaining. 41-yard field goal attempt by Brad Cooper. I'm trying to get West Virginia on the board. Brad Cooper. Cooper's kick will be wide right. Not even close. And that pretty well sums up the first half for the Mountaineers. All right, an uphill battle for the Mountaineers. It's been all Maryland in the first half of the 2004 Toyota Gator Bowl. Terrapins 24-0. Now let's send you to Jimmy Roberts in our New York studio for the All-State NBC Sports Update. Short kick. Pac-Man takes it on the fly. Dodges to the outside, found a little seam, and makes it to the 30-yard line. Started to change things, and that's what happened when they were 1-4. and four. Didn't change the systems. They mixed personnel a little differently, and now they're more confident, more experienced, but they're facing a tough Maryland team, and especially their defense. Marshall. Oh, sacks. Mm. The Mountaineers. It just a slips right off him and into the face of Marshall. Play action fake from the shotgun. Setting up the screen pass. Able to dodge a couple of tacklers. We have two dead ball fouls after the play is over. Dead ball personal foul against the offense. Dead ball personal foul against the defense. Those fouls cancel. Fourth down. Took 176 yards for a score in the first half. Low bar, bouncing, yep. got good bounce. See, that, that's good strategy. Yep. Don't let Suter Keep it away from Suter. The legendary Paul Time Zone Evans, University of Maryland graduate yes. on the stats. Did you turtle suit last night? <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny to a Maryland graduate. Breaking to the outside, Bruce Perry. Perry again showing us that there's a lot of things that have gone wrong for Bruce Perry. All right, Hawkeye. Yeah. <laughs> Third down play. Yeah, West, West Virginia ne needs, you know, a defensive turnover right here. In, in this kind of field position, that leads to an easy score. McBrien wins it. Complete wide open suitor. Says they look at Perry over on the sideline. McBrien took a shot from Wiley after he let the ball go, but was able to get the 15-yarder in the first down. Another out. You know, now he's a true receiver. A year ago, he was kind of getting used to it, Tom, but now I mean, he had a real solid season. Fumble. Have really played well this season. He said three recovered. Obviously, uh, it was four, as you saw in the graphic. 
Bruce Perry is back. West Virginia jumped. Go this offside. Yeah, he's part of a you know, singing group. He and Lamar Bryant, the right guard, and then C.J. Brooks plays guitar, the left guard. So, Lamar. so that was a first down play. Second down and eight. Two-yard gain on first down by Bruce Perry. And he's replaced by Allen. As McBrien goes to the air and across the middle. Ball came loose as it ruled a cap. And uh, Brian King was telling us that They've remained best friends despite McBrien leaving West Virginia and going to Maryland. Looked like he just wound up and threw it as hard as he could, as far as he could, and Suter, Suter on the deflection. Lance Fraser away, but rem a remarkable adjustment. You know, he just gets inside. It's good position. Gets his left hand up, yeah. stays alive. He deflected it to himself, yeah. didn't he? That, that, that's a fantastic catch. Maryland has put on a show today. Four catches, 83 yards, plus a 76-yard touchdown on a punt return. The shotgun and the Allen. Josh Allen turning away toward the goal line and going. <laughs> Allen back for two more seasons for the Terrapins. So second down and going for about a yard away. Josh Allen. Rodriguez of West Virginia said they were sorry to see Scott McBrien leave. I don't think they'll be sorry to see him leave College Park. He's thrown for a couple of touchdowns. He races into the end zone to score one on the ground. Well, it's a scoring opportunity. It's, it's absolutely incredible. I was talking to John Elway a little bit earlier this, uh, this year. He's all fired up about his second season as the Denver owner. Brian Wright, here's a reverse. Hand it to Jones. Pac-Man looking to pick up a block. Got one. Cuts back to the center of the field. Changes a lot, too. Yep. Best field position to start a drive all day for the Mountaineers. Marshall's pass across the middle. Short game to the 41-yard line. In the first meeting against West Virginia, had 10 tackles and a sack. Marshall's pass complete. And back for a couple more. Second team all ACC, leading tackler with eight games and double figures this season. KJ Harris, Harris to the sideline. And four times was the state long jump champion in the state of Florida, Tampa Bay Tech High School. Yeah, he weighs 240 pounds now, so he's one of those bumping into at the hotel. <laughs> they were excited about being down watching their son play. And Frederick Maryland, here's Chris Henry. And Henry to the 15 yard. <laughs> Be upset. Third down and two. On the gun. Run by Marshall, who walks into the end zone. And West Virginia's on the board. KJ Harris made a nice block for him. And Rashid Marshall untouched into the Maryland end zone. He's had a huge lift for the defense, too, because the defense had been on the field so much in the first half. Got a nice rest here. Brad Cooper's extra point is good. And West Virginia finally gets something positive. Marshall with the 15-yard touchdown scamper. Quarterback draw from the shotgun follows the block of K.J. Harris. And takes it across the goal line for the first points of the day for the Mountaineers. And Cooper with a kickoff for West Virginia's onside kick. Oh, and unbelievable. He almost caught it with one hand. I think it was uh, Pac-Man. Pac-Man. We have two fouls. We have a live ball foul for a free kick out of bounds against the kicking team. After the play was over, we have a dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct against the receiving team. The penalty, the first penalty is declined because the ball went out of bounds and will be put in play at that spot. Then we'll penalize 15 yards for the unsportsmanlike conduct, first down. I knew he had a gift to throw a ball. And he was not heavily recruited coming out of high school, so he ends up in West Virginia. And talk about what he went through as he decided to leave. Scott Jerko was uh, shaken up on the play, went to the sideline. Second down. McBrien again wide open. This one to Josh Allen. And Allen 
Cutting back toward the center of the field and just pumped from behind. And they can beat you two or three different ways. And uh, just, just make it so hard to defend them. You just can't gang up on one thing. Just over five minutes left in the third. First down run. its first Gator Bowl win in its fourth appearance. Nice play on defense that time, setting up this third down and long. From the shotgun, McBride. Across the middle, breaking free. It'll be a touchdown for Fetter. Easy again for the Maryland offense. Derek Fetter from 50 yards gets the McBrien pass for the score. Delivered the ball to Fenner. We have an illegal formation against the offense. The offense did not have enough players on the line of scrimmage. With the whole penalty, there was a good throw. <laughs> but the blitz, the blitz pickup has been excellent yeah. today. Superb. By Maryland all afternoon long. McBrien, look at the arm strength. And it's caught downfield by Melendez. Throwing into a lot of different wide receivers. And McBride has hit 15 of 23 for 308 yards and a couple of touchdowns. Scored another one himself. Looking for his third touchdown pass. Yeah. That nose tackle. You never get any, you never get any love from the coach to carry the ball every now and then. Yeah, you never say, hey, coach, I want to be the blocking fullback or I want to be nose tackle. You just don't see up there. McBride. Nick Novak. Actually missed a couple extra points late in the season. There when it was one of what happened. Came back and hit a game winner. That uh, field goal is good. Adding to the Maryland lead. Be a nice ride back to uh, College Park after this showing in the Toyota Gator Bowl. High school player of the year. He is uh, said, said to have narrow, narrowed his college choices as you see the kickoff to K.J. Harris in the West Virginia end zone. K.J. trying to get a return going. Yeah. Also declare where he's going. From the shotgun, Rashid Marshall. Closing stages of the third quarter. Going to put it up. High. That might have pushed off a little himself there. He tosses his helmet in frustration. Caught over by the sideline. Rich Rodriguez signals in the plays from the sideline. He signals the tempo first, then, then kind of the formation, the play, and oftentimes the audibles. Nice. The, the formation. He points to the ground. That means a play that was called. No audible. And the third quarter has come to a close. He finds uh, Coach Rod and the Mountaineers trailing Maryland 34-7, the same score by which they lost to the Terrapins back in September. And it's been keyed by Scott McBrien, the former Mountaineer, now a quarterback for Maryland. He set a Maryland single-game bowl record, passing for over 300 yards through three quarters. This season, Pat, they have outscored West Virginia now 68 to 14. Yeah, yeah, Rich Rodriguez said, hey, this is the best defensive team we've seen all year. And then remember, they beat Virginia Tech, they beat Pittsburgh. Oh. They lost that hard edge late. And apparently the same thing's happened to him here. No, I don't have to tell you what, this is a tough matchup. Merrill has just done everything well. Including this guy returning punts. Titans games, Jets games, Giants games. His dad uh, somehow wrangled a press pass and he would go to a scalper and get Ralph a ticket to sit in the stands. And I would think about Ralph Ritchie. You know, I think he's obviously very happy at Maryland, but this is a guy that's been successful everywhere he's been. So all the three points and above, they get to the meal line first and then it ended, you know, 2.5 to 3.0s, etc., etc. If you're below a two-point, you don't get any meat. There's nothing left. Fiddler with the catch from McBrien and another first down. You know, among himself and his two coordinators, Gary Blackney on defense and Charlie Taff on offense, they've all been head coaches and over 100 years of, of coaching experience. Thumped West Virginia pretty good. Their last few meetings are continuing the trend today, taking the lead uh, early and 
holding a 34-7 advantage. Second down play, and Scott McBrien still in at quarterback. He's already set a Maryland single-game bowl record for passing yards. He's passed 300, and heading for 400 at this pace. Dropped and uh, through the hands of a couple of Mountaineers. Every illegal motion against the offense. Bush. Man Jones, the deep man for the Mountaineers, runs up in a hurry, makes the catch. The new expansion team in the AFL. Looking forward to that. And so West Virginia takes over. Sorry, Pat. West Virginia's mini champion, uh, Tampa. Bears and Quincy from Weirton, West Virginia, and he was telling us uh, that he really has a good appreciation for. We have an ineligible receiver down here. You know. Gets the offense, five-yard penalty in the previous spot, replay second down. Came in as the fifth leading rusher all time for the Mountaineers. And his dad, Otis, the former NFL linebacker. Yeah, good one. And in a championship 1985 season against Pittsburgh, he had 34 carries. But because of the nature of the score of the game, he just not been able to touch the ball enough. Nice season. And we talk about blocking a kick, intercepting passes. There's a rugby kick again. It's pretty effective. Shooter backs away from it. I really appreciate, especially uh, Brian Boitano and Christy Yamaguchi, who have maintained uh, their standards at near competitive level. None of us uh, just going through the motions uh, put it on a show. Uh, Hard to believe it was almost two years ago now that uh, Sarah Hughes won the gold medal in Salt Lake City, one of the great moments. Great performance. Just, just when he puts the uniform on and the number seven on. There's uh, King 11, his best friend, looking at number seven, under center, or behind the shotgun for the Terrapins. And Wiley Wood, number six, was the made too, for uh -huh. the years, too. Oh, well, he had 349 earlier in the year against North Carolina. Pass that today. Had four TDs and two rushing TDs in that one. Don't uh, well, turn only, the ball over. Only six during the regular season, the least in the ACC. Yep. Nice ratio of 16 to 6. And, uh, is it time for uh, Coach Friedgen to put some other, some call off the dogs yeah. or call off the Terps? Well, put some other seniors in or some of your walk ons that knew it was going to be a difficult one to end up losing the first two games. But yeah. his team responded. Open the season with a loss at Northern Illinois. Congratulations to, to them. They had a, another terrific year. So close to losing that first game at Notre Dame in overtime. Yeah. Wasn't he the 100 meter champion in high school? Was I right about that? Read that? Yep. State champion, class 4A in 100 meters. And runner up in football, Eleanor Roosevelt High School, as JoJo Walker walks into the end zone for the touchdown. <laughs> No back for the extra point. It's good. Games we have seen. This one matched two hot teams. West Virginia had won seven in a row. Maryland nine of ten. But it has been a very, very impressive showing by the Terrapins today. The latest, the touchdown by JoJo Walker. McBrien is third touchdown toss. It's 41-7 Terrapins. Vickers! Jay Harris. And then Michael Vick at quarterback for Virginia Tech 2001 Gator Bowl threw for 205 yards as Tech beat Clemson. And, and the backup quarterback for West Virginia is on the field now, Charles Hales Jr., Ellisville, Mississippi. Played in uh, five games during the regular season. Yeah, Rich. On the field for the final time. He's a senior from Bradenton, Florida. <laughs> Hales with the quarterback draw. Eight different receivers, as we talked about. Really spread it around. Three touchdowns passing and one running. 21 of 33 for those three. And stated him, said he would not play in the first half, but perhaps in the second. And he told us that I'd get into the seniors at the end of the game. Which is you see the field. Uh, he's certainly proven that not only today, but the last two years. College Park and uh, has made and his dad works in uh, Latrobe, but I'm sure everybody knows 
and he really is from Barry. He had a big uh, third Gator Bowl championship. They will have a record of three wins, no losses, and one tie in Gator Bowl competition, while West Virginia, in its fourth Gator Bowl appearance, put in the extra seats. These two uh, programs are well traveled with their fans. Joel Statham at quarterback now for Maryland. Oh, didn't quite get it up high enough there. Just, oh, yeah, that's, that's second that's missed all together. You know, for a team that won 10 games, that was a really a poor effort. False start, penalty flags down. Oh, I thought you called call the false start on the Gator. Well, well, it was. One of them, they're foul, gonna get, they were determined. False start. <laughs> get the offense wow. moving in the offensive line. Five yard there, there's a tradition. History. Had some great coaches over the years. At mm -hmm. Maryland, Bear Bryant was there starting his career. Jerry Clayton was one who had great success. Yeah. 